Hey, so in this tutorial we're going to send data to the GPU for the first time and draw to the screen. But before that, I'd like to rectify a small mistake I made in the last episode where this line should have been like this. Also, I'm trying out VS Code instead of Genie, so we'll see how that works out, but in any case, the code stays the same regardless of the editor, so no worries. Also, also, I put a repository on GitHub, link in the description, containing the source code for each episode. Okay, so we're going to start off by importing C types in our program. This will give us features that we can use to interact with Python at a lower level. In our init function, we can start by creating what's called a VAO, or Vertex Ray Object, which is an object that can contain multiple VBOs, or Vertex Buffer Objects. I won't go into much detail on these concepts or explain the syntax much, as I think it will be a bit too complicated and overwhelming to the demographic I'm targeting with these videos, but I may explain this a bit better in a potentially different series. If you can't wait though, there are many articles that you can find online that explain this stuff pretty well. Back on topic, let's now create the VBO I alluded to previously. We need to put data in this VBO, so I'm going to create a list up here with all four of the 3D Vertex coordinates for the shape I want to draw on screen. So now we can put this data in our VBO, set it to the first vertex attribute pointer, we'll talk more about attributes next episode, and enable it. Finally, we can create what's known as an IBO, or index buffer object, which contains all the indices for our vertices and define our indices up here. Basically, each group of three indices constitutes a triangle, and each index points to one of our vertex positions. So by creating two sets of three indices like this, we can stick two triangles together to make it a square. Now we can pass this data to our IBO, and finally draw our buffers to the screen. Now this works fine, but if we try to resize the window, you'll see our rectangle doesn't really resize with it. To fix that, we're going to have to set the size of our OpenGL viewport in our resize function, and now we should be able to resize it correctly. Yeah, that's just about it. Bye.